Yes, he stayed in! <laughs> Alright, what is up you guys, and of course always, welcome back to our Wi-Fi battle versus Travis. Which, by the way, must be one of my favorite names, mainly because Sotropia. <clears throat> I don't know why it is, but I just like how people say Travis. I'm, I'm just a goof like that. So anyway, the new team with Electivire and um, a lot of other niche mons, not really, but Moltres, Mesprit and Cavitops are mons going to use, and <clears> hope <throat> we'll to get something out of it. I have two Scarfers. We'll see how long I keep that. Um, I have every reason to not make sure Flygon remains a Scarfer and more Dragon Dancer. Uh, I actually realize now that the Flygon doesn't get access to uh, First Impression, which is a damn shame, as I would happily have been able to use that. Ah, look at this! Charizard! I mean, for every standard mon there is here, Charizard is definitely standing out. And Moltres is not too shabby versus all of these. I could probably fend off versus Mamoswine. <clears throat> Possibly. A bit scared about the ice shot. I'm a bit scared, like... I should probably always be worried about mons such as... Um, um, Garchomp. It is an incredible threat. I hate it. It's a good mon, for sure. <laughs> Which is why... I, the main reason I gotta hate it. It's great. <laughs> I hate to be in that type of scenario where... The reason I really don't... Oh, look, the battle ends in, what, zero seconds? What was that? Leads up with Holy Mammoth, which is a really cool name, I think. I have expected this to be... Um, sashed, I think. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Bit worried about a knockoff here. We do our speed, which... I mean, we're on the same speed here, so you just won the speed here, that is. Doesn't carry knockoff at least yet. And not, self rocks are definitely annoying for me, but I'm not too worried, at least not yet. I kind of, like I said, are expecting, um, expecting a knockoff or an ice school crash would be just fine. Um, I really don't have a solid switch in here. Um, if you were a mad lad, you'd probably go for an earthquake, but I, I'm, I'm fearing. I'm fearing knockoff. I think that makes sense for all the wrong reasons. Let's see if I can risk my scarf. Stone Edge. It's a good filler, definitely. Um, I'm gonna either I try to take him out. Oh, I spin. I spin. This is side to stay in, so. Ah. We do good damage, though. I like that. Um, let's see, yeah, it goes for Quake, kicking me out, and um, I now need to find a way to make sure that he can't uh, set these up again, right? That's, um, that's the plan. Um, should be very possible though, right? Didn't see a ghost type, so Sparex I think works here. I do vaguely remember the team, I'll be honest and say that, but I, I saw the close combat, I think I scare everything that is left in this team anyway. Just decide to stay in, which is great, close combat absolutely ruins him. I kind of wanted to lean myself towards Meteor Mash, but Rotom seemed to be such a good switch in that it just felt like a big risk. So I hope he doesn't have the capabilities of actually, um, what do you say? Um, Having to reset the rock somehow. See, there's a Rotom. And Volt Switch is mildly annoying. And a bit of an inconvenience. It's the question is. Like, Arexi kind of works. I don't want to see him Will O Wisp. Right? Yeah, ah. Uh, uh, this is kind of strange. What do I do versus this? Right, so I actually, I kind of felt I should have made my mess spread bold and really, really thick. It is offensive instead, and I realized that considered speed tiers, that not, might not be a solid thing. He went for the willow, so I made the right call. <laughs> um, for better or worse. 
question is... I think I see bolt here. I want to go for an Ice Beam, I really do. But I have every means to think he's going to just stay in and attack me. Hydro Pumps, yeah, looks about right. It's going to do solid. And um, Sitter's going to save me a little bit. And... Leftovers? No. Doesn't seem to carry it. So I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam here, mainly because I don't kill him here anyway. And I can't expect then I want to see him bring in his Garchomp. Come on. Fall for that bait. It is definitely... Not the strongest play, but... He switches out at least. Goes into the abyss. <laughs> Don't be Yasha Berry, I swear! Oh, this is incredible! <laughs> Die, motherfucker! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that's um, that's great. <laughs> Who's who? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I fear you lose this matchup anyway. Um, I think I U-turn here. Goes right for a bullet punch, solid. Is it banded? Ah, it couldn't be. Couldn't be. And my most solid switch in is absolutely... He could defog though, right? That's absolutely a thing. Ratgale is um, definitely forcing this guy out. Leftovers, yeah, he's gotta be defog. And I'm, of course, flame body because that's the set. And I know Rotom is a good switch in, but I really can't take that risk yet. Great, he didn't bring it. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. So right with this matchup, how much does Flamethrower do? Oh, jeez. Okay. Consider my remaining Mons. <sighs> I don't want to see him roost, but at the same time, I probably can't outspeed, which I do. Ratgale, absolute mad lad. Shows exactly who is the superior. Well, I guess fire and flying type right now, right? Mm. That's incredible. Let's see, punk monk. And I mean, he is in range of me not being forced to risk this matchup at all. Um, do I sack Rexy now? I kind of feel I do. There's just. With the possibility of the remaining mounts, I kind of feel I want to bring in Electavirus safely. Let's see... Oh, no. Well, that's great, no one. So, most likely Thunderbolt... Resto Shesto. Jam. Haven't missed that set in some time. So, only thing I want to kind of gauge here is if I'm able to outspeed. Because if so, then, you know, I'd probably bring in Moltres again. We do outspeed, so it's a defensive set. Next time I shouldn't be as worried. As Thunderbolt is a solid KO. Solid indeed. Oof, just wish I could have baited this better. Alright. <clears throat> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And this <laughs> is your yes, even for the beat! <laughs> oh, my predictions game are good. He picks it ready to right now. That's uh I've seen every set with Moltres right now, and I I solidly believe the best set right now is the more offensive one. Though for the RU, mainly for Rhyperior, but this works too. If the set is defensive, which this was, of course. Alright. Here is an issue, however. I gotta assume he's scarfed. 
Gotta. But his best play, no matter what, should knock me boom, boom blast, moon blast. Because I resist the hell out of that. Let's see. If he goes for a psychic, so be it. This is this is kind of risky, but Moonblast should not be the play. Oh, ho, 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 ho! My turn. All right, switches out. That's fair. Um, I am getting myself in a really cool position. I am enjoying this way too much. Um, let's see, earthquake here will do. Oh yeah, we got this. It is game over. That's a special defensive CISO. That is that is not going to wrap up this game. Didn't get to showcase Electivire whatsoever, even though it had a really good, solid uh, matchup for all of this. It honestly did. But Moltres just put this game on a different level to get it with Mesprit. Getting that guard jump KO was definitely all I needed to... How, how do I say it? Without it, I probably couldn't break the remaining mons. Now I was able to. Um, guard chop is just so good, and uh, if it was in theory a scarf set, then that would have been mildly annoying. Um, oh yeah, he is clearly floating. That's great. Um, that's that's not great. All right, what would he lock himself into? Psychic is overall good, I think. Oh, does yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's find out if it's Scarf. That's, um, that it was stuff I didn't anticipate. That's going to be, um, hard for me to deal with. Let's see, he locks himself to Psychic. That's very fair. As that's absolutely a 2 it KO. Thing is, we now get to find out whether or not it's Scarf. It is absolutely Scarf. Alright, cool. So. I still got the endgame, but definitely not as well as I wanted to. Um, sending in Mirage, going for a U-turn, making a big chip, and sacking Moltres, and then an E-speed with Lucario, right? U-turn might as well be a 2 hit kill here anyway, so I got the sack play going well enough. Uh, it doesn't look to be it, but let's say if I didn't have E-speed now, I'll probably still manage this, but... I... Probably should have fought that play through, for sure. That said, though, I, I'm, I'm, I didn't need. Oh, look, Moltres do not care. It does not care about any of this. Moltres natural bolt just says nope. Though barely for that second hit. Let's see, flamethrowers not gonna kill, right? It would have been nice if it did. Oh, oh Moltres! Hey! <laughs> right to Travis GG. That was a um, that was a cool game. And hell, Moltres is way more impressive than I thought it was. I, I love it. So that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, one right.